Cloudflare launched new free DNS service to protect users from malware and adult material. Cloudflare calls this service 1.1.1.1 for families and is a free service that does not require any registration. As you will see, the name 1.1.1.1 for families is a bit misleading as the particular DNS server 1.1.1.1 does not offer either malware or adult material. Since the service name 1.1.1.1 for families is a bit long, for the rest of the video, I will be referring it to as the one family service. Cloudflare, Inc. is an American web infrastructure and website security company, providing content delivery network, CDN, services, distributed denial of service DDoS mitigation, internet security, and distributed domain name server services. Cloudflare's headquarters are in San Francisco, United States of America. All information in this video is true at the time of production. In the future, Cloudflare may add or remove facilities to the Dot One Family service. Under the Dot One Family service, Cloudflare released a total of four DNS servers. These include two IP version 4 DNS servers and two IP version 6 DNS servers for blocking known malware. The IP version 4 IP addresses for the DNS servers are Primary DNS, 1.1.1.2 and Secondary DNS. 1.0.0.2, and the IPv6 IP addresses are Primary DNS, 2606-4-7-00-4-7-00-1-2 Secondary DNS, 2606-4-7-00-4-7-00-1-2 Cloudflare also released a total of 4 DNS servers, 2 IPv4 and 2 IPv6 for blocking known malware and adult content, the IPv4 IP addresses are Primary DNS, 1.1.1.3 and Secondary DNS, 1.0.0.3, and the IPv6 IP addresses are Primary DNS, 2606-4-7-00-4-7-00-1-3 and Secondary DNS, 2606-4-7-00-4-7-00-1-0-3 A malware is any software intentionally designed to cause damage to a computer, server, client, or computer network. A wide variety of malware types exist, including Viruses Crypto malware Ransomware Worm Trojan Rootkit Keylogger Adware Spyware Bots Rat Logic Bomb and Backdoor Like all filtering solutions, Cloudflare's database isn't perfect, and it won't block all malicious or adult domains. But it can reduce security threats and prevent casual access to most adult websites. The existing Cloudflare primary DNS 1.1.1.1 and secondary DNS, 1.0.0.1 do not block anything. To use the dot one family service, all you need to do is configure the DNS servers on your main router or gateway device. If you are using your machine to connect directly to the internet service provider without using any gateway device like using a phone connecting via the 4G mobile network, you can configure the relevant DNS servers directly onto the phone as static DNS. Note that for most devices, you will need to use a DNS changer application software to change your DNS settings when directly connected to internet via a mobile network like 3G and 4G. The Dot One family service can be used to protect your family and loved ones against adult material and malware. You can also use this service to protect your office network. Adult content filtering is useful in the following scenarios. 1. Protecting kids from the harmful content at home. 2. Protecting students from the harmful content in learning institutions. 3. Blocking the adult material as non-productive content in a productive work environment. 4. Blocking the adult material as part of compliance to the governing law. What is so neat about the Dot One Family service is that the harmful content will be filtered out even from search results meaning. The web search option will not display the adult site names, titles, or any adult keywords. The image search option will not even display the X-rated thumbnail pictures, and the X-rated video search will not display the adult thumbnails. Even trying to find out the IP address of a blocked site using NS Lookup will not work. 
Virtually everyone needs to be protected from malware especially our loved ones and our office environments where for example. 1. Internet users who may fall victim to scammers by responding to malware pop-ups and visiting malware sites. 2. Malware filtering may help create a hurdle to a type of hackers known as script kitties who may want to use a network at workplace or internet cafe to interact with malware sites to download and deploy malware. The dot one family service although it can be used in a production or law compliance environment, it is not suitable on its own, it can only be properly used to complement other existing measures. For example in an office or school environment, to block malware and adult content, the network administrator uses the dot one family service and configures primary and secondary DNS as 1.1.1.3 and 1.0.0.3 respectively on the gateway router, so that the router will propagate the DNS settings to all user machines via DHCP. The network administrator also configures all machines to get all IP address and DNS settings automatically from the gateway router. However some tech-savvy users may be able to reconfigure their local machine DNS settings and put static DNS settings as primary DNS 1.1.1.1 and secondary DNS 1.0.0.1, thereby avoiding any content blocking. In this particular case, there are several solutions to this problem. Solution 1. The network administrator will need a gateway device that has the capability to force all users to use only the DNS servers propagated by the DHCP server. This may be achieved by blocking all outgoing packets with destination port 53 for all TCP and UDP traffic except to destination IP addresses 1.1.1.3 and 1.0.0.3. The gateway device may be a router or firewall. The example here shows how we can use a Cisco router to allow clients to only use DNS servers 1.1.1.3 and 1.0.0.3 and deny the rest. This means the user who changed her DNS servers to 1.1.1.1 and 1.0.0.1 will lose all DNS service. You can pause the video to read the access list. Solution 2 As the network administrator, remove administrative rights to all user accounts by making them limited user accounts. This way, they will not be able to change network settings. This solution may not be suitable if the users need to have administrative rights to their accounts for example computer science students. The solution is also not suitable in situations where users use their own devices to access the network as in bring your own device, BYOD, network environments. Solution 3. Use a content filtering capable gateway device, this way the network administrator will be essentially employing a different method of blocking malware and adult content. In this case, the gateway device will use several intelligent security methods like a. Content blocking based on keywords. In this case, content containing certain keywords is automatically blocked as configured. b. Protocol blocking allows blocking of traffic protocols like email, newsgroups, file transfer protocol, chat, instant messaging, video streaming, audio streaming and peer-to-peer -peer file sharing. c. Time of day blocking. Access permissions can be set to vary by the time of day. D. Website blocking. This is blocking any undesirable websites and website categories like gaming websites, social media websites, adult websites and gambling websites. E. Autonomous system blocking. In this case, the network administrator configures the gateway device to block certain autonomous systems that are known to send undesirable traffic. Autonomous system blocking is normally implemented if you want to block all traffic from a large network like organizations, service providers and countries. F. Content blocking based on IP address. This can be manual or automated. In this case, the gateway device will automatically blacklist an IP address or domain that sends undesirable traffic once a set threshold has been reached. G. The gateway device may contain many other security capabilities that will need their own separate video to fully explain. These capabilities include intrusion prevention system, IPS, antivirus, denial of service protection, anti-spam and anti-ransomware. The most common device used for such a purpose is a firewall that may be network-based or host-based. In network-based, the firewall appliance is usually installed as the gateway device to block unwanted traffic. A host-based firewall is a software application that runs on an individual computer. This software firewall will then do all the blocking locally on the computer. As you can see, all solutions 1 to 3 need at least one extra measure to make the dot one family service implementation more effective to prevent users bypassing the content blocking.
Also note that the Dot One family service is a free service and has no any contracts or service level agreements meaning that it has no guarantee that it will perform well blocking adult content and malware. In this regard, this means solutions 1 and 2 will not be suitable in critical production environments where malware blocking is of paramount importance like finance institutions and health institutions. There are limitations to the Dot One family service malware protection, these limitations include 1. Malware that originates from outside your network and targets your hosts. This is because generally such traffic is unsolicited hence will not traverse the Cloudflare servers for it to be filtered. 2. Malware that originates from a host in your network. Since the Cloudflare servers are located outside your network, local traffic does not traverse them, meaning the Dot One family service cannot protect against the spreading of malware already in your network. Such traffic also includes traffic on remote networks connected via VPN. 3. Malware that is unknown to the Dot One family service. According to Cloudflare, the Dot One family service only protects against known malware. On the other hand, most antivirus software use heuristics to detect unknown malware. Heuristic analysis is a method employed by many computer antivirus programs designed to detect previously unknown computer malware, as well as new malware variants of already known malware. For malware that enters your computer through routes other than the network, these routes include a detachable storage media like USB flash disks, external hard drives, Optical disks, magnetic tapes, floppy disks, memory cards and RFID tags. B. Scripts written by programmers. A programmer may write and execute harmful scripts infecting machines on the network. C. Malware may come from peripherals or directly attached devices like mobile phones, tablets, smart watches, printers and other handheld terminals that we directly attach to our computers via USB ports, Bluetooth, FireWire ports, infrared or near-field communication, NFC. All limitations for the Dot One family service can be mitigated by using a combination of host-based security software like an antivirus and network-based security appliance like a firewall. Network-based security solution is a security appliance that is attached to a network to protect the entire network or a network segment. Such appliances include Unified Threat Management Appliances, UTM, Network Intrusion Detection Systems, NIDS, Intrusion Detection and Prevention Systems, IDPS, and Firewalls. These appliances are used to protect network against threats that spread from host to host on the same network and threats that come from outside the network including the Internet. Network-based security solution has few limitations. Firstly in most cases it cannot detect malware that comes via secure protocols like HTTPS and IPSec. Secondly, network-based security solution cannot protect against threats that enter the host via other routes like USB ports and FireWire ports. For these reasons, we need to complement the network-based security solution with a host-based security solution because all encrypted traffic will be decrypted upon reaching the target host, and all traffic that enters the host via other routes will be scanned for threats upon entering the host. A proxy appliance is one type of network-based security solution that can detect malware in encrypted protocols however proxy appliances have limitations as they may be not compatible to some applications. Host-based security solution is a security solution designed to protect a single host. Such a solution includes antivirus software, firewall software, host intrusion prevention system, HIPS software, host-based intrusion detection systems, HIDS software and so on. Host-based security solution is used to protect hosts against malware that enters the hosts via the network connection of that host and other routes like USB ports and Bluetooth ports. Since most host-based security solutions use heuristics, they can also protect against unknown threats including threats that are compiled and locally executed by a computer programmer whether intentionally or not. Network and host-based security solutions are needed to complement the Dot One family service because the Dot One family service only protects against known malware, however there are many other network threats other than malware that can be eliminated by network and host-based security solutions. Here are some examples. 1. Brute force attacks. This is when someone tries to guess a passphrase or password with the hope of eventually guessing correctly to illegally gain access to network resources like router, FTP server or email server. 2. Port scanning attack is when an attacker uses a tool like Nmap to send client requests to a range of port addresses on a host, with the goal of finding an active port and exploiting a known vulnerability of that service. 3. Denial of service attack, DOS attack, 
is an attack in which the perpetrator seeks to make a machine or network resource unavailable to its intended users by temporarily or indefinitely disrupting network services to that machine or network. On the other hand, network-based security solutions like firewall appliances can deal with such attacks usually by blocking the offending IP address, subnet or autonomous system then generating logs and notifications. In summary, for non-critical production environments like Internet Cafe the Dot .1 family service is sufficient as a quick temporary security solution. However, for adequate total family protection including protection from malware and adult content, the Dot .1 family service is not sufficient on its own and should be supplemented with other protection methods like antivirus software and firewall appliances. The major reason for this inadequacy is that the Dot .1 family service only protects your family against malware and adult sites, however, there is much more equally harmful content online especially to young children other than malware and adult sites, this content includes social media websites, messaging applications, gambling websites, gaming websites, file sharing sites and dating websites. Such content can cause harm just like adult content and malware, for example pedophiles and stalkers use social media and messaging applications as part of their arsenal. Thank you for watching. If you like this video please click like, and if you did not like, a dislike and a comment would help me a lot improving future content. Please subscribe and click the bell so that you do not miss informative future videos.